Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. In this short review, we'll go through the features of a brand new Holosun Red Hat site, uh, which was released this year in 2019, the Elite 515 CT RD model. But before we get down to its features, I want to say a few words about the company. Uh, Holosun began uh, manufacturing in 2013, so we can call them a relative newcomer in the world of optics but have quickly established themselves as one of the top sellers and key players in the world, in the field of red dot sites. There are mostly red dot sites in their offer, all from open reflex to small tube and even full tube red dot sites, and all kinds of versions. Then you can also find lasers and now a magnifier from 2019 onwards. Throughout their existence, they always offered quality optical devices for an affordable price, and they also um, implemented plenty of innovative features to their red-out sites, such as solar cells on some of their devices. Uh, some of their devices come with titanium housings. There are different colors of radical to choose from. In 2019, we have red, green, and gold. And on some of the sites, you can also switch between a dot and a circle dot. Because of all these features that I've listed, they, are, they can be compared, let's say, with some Japanese-made and some European-made devices. And one of the indicators of their success is the fact that they're cooperating with the famous American company Primary Arms, which patented the ACSS radical. Together, they released a model with this radical, which turned out to be really popular. So I bet that more, more things will come out of this cooperation. In 2019, they, they introduced a bunch of new things. They introduced the R models, uh, models which have a rotary illumination switch instead of buttons. Then they introduced the gold illumination, which they referred to as color blindness neutral color. And these 515 models were introduced with titanium housings. And this is one of the, uh, the examples of such models. So I already mentioned it is new for 2019. It is of the small tube type, um, a form factor that was popularized by the famous Swedish Red Hat manufacturer Aimpoint, but um, now it's made all over the world by various companies in similar forms. It is 80 millimeters long, 35 millimeters wide, around 40 millimeters high. We uh, don't count the mount for the, the quick detachable mount for the AR platform. Um, the weight is around 180 grams with this mount, mount on. So this is like a upgraded form of the 403 and the 503 models. The 515 models are a little bit more advanced. It comes with high mount for an AR platform. It is already mounted on when you get it out of the box and comes with a quick detachable mount that you operate with a lever. If we remove this mount, there is a, an 8 point micro footprint underneath for which there is there are plenty of mounts available on the market made by renowned European mount manufacturers. The numbers that we have are 515, so uh, first number is 5 is always an indicator that this site offers both dot and a circle dot, which you can switch between. Uh, 1 uh, means upgraded accessories, so um, you get a quick detachable mount instead of the fixed mount. Uh, transparent flip-up covers, removable instead of removable bikini cover made out of rubber, and also a removable kill flash filter, uh, which I already removed before making this video. Also, all the 515 models come with shrouded turrets, so um, turrets are protected from bumps, impacts, um, which is a nice addition, really. So what about the letters? We have, first we have the Elite model. Uh, this is an Elite model. Uh, at all the models marked Elite, uh, made by Holosun, have one or both of the following characteristics. Titanium housing or illumination in green or gold. This one has standard red illumination, so the fact that it's elite is linked to the titanium housing. Um, the letter T here um, refers to the same thing, so let, uh, housing made out of titanium. And this model is 100 euros more expensive than the 515 CM version, which is similar to this one but made of 7075 aluminum alloy instead. And with that model, you also get a riser, while you don't get it with this version. I already have this model here, so you can see 
This is basically 100 euros more expensive, but it lacks a riser. And this is also more of a glossy uh, finish on it. Well, this is more of a matte finish here. But uh, all the titanium models have this particular distinct look. Um, the weight of the titanium and the aluminum model is really comparable. The titanium is a light metal, but so is titanium. And there are no notable differences in weight if we put both of these on a scale. Um, what else? So we have up to 50,000 hours of battery life on this one, as is standard with Holosun. Of course, um, if you use the circle dot, the battery will drain quicker. Uh, the shake awake function also works nicely. So if you um, leave it stationary for a while, it will it will power back on. Uh, it will the illumination will power off after a while, and then when you move it, it will power back on in an instant, and you'll be ready to shoot. Or if you perhaps uh, left the power uh, on by mistake, it will turn out to preserve battery life. Now I remember that I forgot to mention what letter C indicates. This basically means that there is a solar, solar panel on top, so the buttons for illumination intensity regulation are on the side. And RD basically means that this product features uh, red illumination. Now I think that from late 2018 onwards, uh, Holosun started indicating the illumination color at the end of the name uh, because there were a lot of there was a lot of confusion with uh, elite and which illumination does it offer and so on now it's much easier to see uh, right away which model has which color of illumination this site is waterproof um, IPX8 certified shockproof to all calibers fog proof it provides unlimited eye relief is parallax free and has a tilted front lens, like all majority of modern red dot sites do. And this is not an error, like some, some people still believe. Um, this basically allows the beam projected by the diode to reflect back to the user's eye from the lens, regardless of the eye position in front of it. So uh, this can be uh, read in detail on Holosun's website and uh, under the frequently asked questions. Um, what about the optical characteristics? Or let's say a little bit more about the illumination first. Well, basically all uh, solar panel models um, come with two modes. The first one is auto mode, the second one is manual mode. In auto mode, the illumination is automatically adjusted to match the ambient lighting using both solar cell and the battery as a power, so power source. In manual mode, you adjust the illumination with these two buttons on the side. Only in manual mode can you change between dot and a circle dot and you switch from one mode to another by pressing the plus button for three seconds. In manual mode you can switch between the radicals by pressing the minus button for three seconds. Uh, so both buttons have uh, functions. If you press them you just switch between um, the levels on the manual mode if you click them, they provide. If, if you press them, they provide another feature. Twelve illumination intensity levels altogether. Two are night vision device compatible. Uh, the strongest are really, really daytime bright. I will show you the illumination in detail at the end of this video um, when I'll focus uh, the background with the camera. Um, so yeah, two MOA dot and a circle dot because it's a five model, one times magnification, so it can be comfortably used with both eyes open. Uh, basically, no tint, uh, only a speck of blue tint, but really unnoticeable. Um, what about the scope of delivery? You get these new 515 models with the um, titanium housing in really nice box. The old ones used to come in smaller boxes, so the one that do not have the titanium housing. These new ones really come in a nice pack, so first this box. Um, a plastic box, uh, but a really robust one. So um, you get instruction manual, of course. Then you also get a torque screwdriver, 
um, which you'll mostly use for changing the battery so you have to unscrew the screws and then pry open the battery tray with this tool here um, so you basically basically need a screwdriver and this tool to access the battery compartment um, this is why I'm more a fan of those round shaped covers where you just can use a coin to unscrew it quickly and change it here it'll take some time and on top of that you'll have to be careful not to lose the screws but Hosan already saw this problem coming so they now offer a spare battery train in case you lose the existing one there is also a hex key here and uh, a lens cloth here and all of these comes packed in this nice box which you can uh, use for transporting the device it even looks really nice from the outside and on the inside is everything is well protected um, as regards price it's priced around 530 euros as I said, around 100 euros more expensive than the 7070Y, uh, 7075 aluminum alloy version. But for this price, you get a titanium model with lots of advanced features. Uh, basically, this is one of the most advanced uh, red outside that Holosun currently has uh, in their offer. And this is an elite model, so it hum comes with the elite warranty. And Holosun says that that's 10 years on the electronics and lifetime on the material. And now that we're at the end, uh, let's point out some of its great points and some of the um, perhaps the disadvantages that it has. Um, one of the most, this is definitely one of the most robust and adv advanced small tube sites, not only in the Holosun's offer, but on the market in general. It, it has titanium housing, it has a QD mount for the Picatinny platform. It comes with a kill flash, a removable one, and also with removable transparent flip-up uh, uh, caps for the lenses. Uh, then I also like the fact that there are 12 illumination intensity levels to choose from, enough for all lighting conditions, even night vision device compatible, and also suitable for daytime brightness. The optics are also great, and uh, there is a really, really low amount of tint. Um, Holosun really does well with the optics and of course uh, very well with the housing. What I think could perhaps be uh, improved is the fact that it comes with a um, this uh, battery tray instead of a round shape cover which I think is a better solution for the battery. Um, here they have to use they basically don't have the space to put the, the round shape cover on this side so they use the tray. Um, you need a screwdriver and a tool for prying open the tray, so this might take longer than with the, sh the cover, but this is all minor because you won't be changing battery that often. And uh, what few people, several people complain about is the fact that these caps are not wired to the housing, so you, you can end up losing them and then you have to buy spare parts. Other than that, I don't have anything to say. So this is currently one of the most advanced red out sites in Holosun's offer and on the market. And it's a great choice for someone who wants unmatched durability with plenty of extra features such as a solar cell, shrouded turrets, removable flip up caps, a kill flash filter and a quick detachable mount. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you found this video useful. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Check out our other reviews on Holosun models because we have plenty of them on our YouTube channel. And of course, see you next time. Goodbye.